Hey everybody, Chris with Grand Raft Group. Uh, here with another ammo testing, uh, evaluation, review type deal. Uh, it's going to be semi uh, very structured and then also very not structured, right? So we're going to do a little data portion. We're going to gather some velocities, look at groupings between two different rifles. Uh, then we're going to have some fun with it, shoot some different targets. Uh, that ammo in question is right here. The Saber Blade Black Tip 308 150 grain ammunition. Uh, shot the 5.56 stuff, had a good time with that, I liked it quite a bit. Um, so today we're also going to answer another question. That is, does a longer barrel make that big of a difference on velocities? So I'll show you what we got. Two of pretty much the exact same rifle, both 308 IPRs. Um, this is a customer's gun, so it's going out for um, uh, QC checks uh, to make sure that the rifle shoots and groups and whatnot. And then here, this is my personal rifle. This is the IPR Scout, same thing, 308, but it's got a 20 inch barrel. This one, 308, but it has a 24 inch barrel. So we're gonna look at for some velocities with the same exact ammo and see, is it really worth having an extra four inches in the added weight? Uh, yes or no? So we're gonna see what happens. Uh, after data collection, I'm gonna do this in two stents. So I'm gonna do a data collection today. Uh, then another day I'm gonna go back. So you're gonna see different clothes and whatnot. Uh, and we're gonna shoot some fun targets. We're gonna shoot some sand, some melons, cinder blocks. Uh, and if, some, if, I, if I can come up with something else, we're gonna shoot that too. Uh, so stay tuned. And uh, if you haven't already, give the video a like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And uh, let's have some fun with it. Okay, back at the shop crunch the numbers on the groups and stuff like that. You know what, I didn't get actual group sizes, but that's okay. The stuff's not super accurate, so getting down to the nitty gritty on, you know, uh, is it, you know, 0.3 or 0.4 MOA? It's not that accurate. So anyways, show you what I got. So a lot going on, not really all that much, but two targets, two different guns. We started off with the 24 inch IPR. Here was the first group of the GG and G. Um, not good at all. Here is a 308 for reference. Come here. Right, um, that's a pretty massive group. Second group was over here, same deal. Pretty massive. Um, I crunched the numbers on that out of the 20 inch gun that is gonna be, out of the 20 inch barrel, we're looking at 27.56, with an extreme spread of 42 feet per second. Um, so all in all, very inaccurate ammo. Uh, I mean, I might be able to you know, hit a, a, a torso sized target at 200 yards with it. Uh, outside of that, it's honestly just kind of luck. Um, so out of the, again, out of the 24 inch target, this was the Saber Blade Black Tip right here. Um, you know, for size reference, we're looking uh, about a two and a half, three inch group out of it. Again, it is not precision ammo. Uh, this is like self-defense. You know, this would be something that you would find in uh, like an AR-10 uh, with a 16, maybe an 18 inch barrel, something like that. So velocities out of the 24 inch barrel, we are getting whoop, 28, 72 with an ES of 14. That's not bad at all. Uh, especially for a factory ammo that's not advertised as a uh, precision load. Switching over to the 20 inch gun. So GG and G, a little bit tighter, not by much. Uh, this, was the, this was the first group right here, and then the second group uh, right here made an adjustment. Um, and then for the AAC, not too bad, not too bad. Um, we're looking roughly about the same size, really. I mean, if we're, other than the group shape is different, um, this has got some more vertical stringing, this has got horizontal stringing, but I mean, really pretty repeatable between the two guns. Again, this is a brand new gun. This is an extremely worrying gun. Um, it's getting to the point where it might actually be kind of wore out. I might replace the barrel on that. So, you know, that's not too terrible. Speeds on the 20 inch gun. Uh, right here, 20 inch gun. We're looking at 28, uh, excuse me, 2781, an extreme spread of 21. So, 
it's it's not too terrible. Um, as far as what the box advertises, 28.50 out of a 24 inch barrel, and we're getting 28.72. So we're actually a little above the box, which is which is okay. I'd rather be above than below. Uh, most boxes or most ammo will uh, you know kind of you know beef up their velocity speeds um, to make them a little more impressive. Uh, and uh, but I mean you know pretty close, pretty close. So mentioned earlier what difference does it make to have a 24 or a 20 inch barrel um, out of this particular ammo on a 308 so crunch those numbers too so we're looking at a 91 feet per second difference between the two at 500 yards the 24 is dropping 2.8 mils at our uh, 500 with the 20 inch we're dropping 3.04 at a thousand we've got 944 and 10 to 10.25 so not a huge difference um, the only thing that would really bite you in the rear here is that if you're trying to shoot out to a thousand and all of a sudden you're at a run out of elevation on your scope um, you know in your in your turret your actual mechanical travel in the scope then this could possibly bite you in the rear for not having that extra four inches of barrel um, but I mean this could very easily be solved by switching from like a 30 millimeter tube to a 34 millimeter tube um, which all of the IPRs come with anyways, but you know, I'm just trying to think of some things that would um, actually impact, you know, you being like, oh darn, I wish I had that extra four inches. Um, me personally, from the last time I had these guns out extended, I had a 24 inch uh, uh, 308 as well as my 20 inch, shooting them side by side, same ammunition, that, that SMB ammo and I was shooting that out to 960 yards that uh, might have been like 964 or something like that um, and I mean impacts on the plate were almost identical um, I mean we're I don't think I really had to adjust I just dialed the same dope and I might have been hitting a little bit lower on the plate at you know at 960 um, so do you need that extra barrel when you're you know humping it around that's up for you to decide um, me personally, I'd probably say no. Um, that's just me. I like a little bit shorter barrel, uh, especially if you're gonna throw like a suppressor on it. Then you know, then having that extra four inches all of a sudden turns into you know having like an extra seven inches. Uh, you know, you, you catch my drift on it. It's not 100% accurate, but anyways, this is gonna be. Eh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna cut this, but uh, this might be part one of the saber blade testing, right? Uh, Part two is going to be fun targets, right? Watermelon, center block, uh, stuff like that. Uh, we've gotten some data on it, so let's go ahead and actually shoot some stuff with it and see what it does. Uh, Till next time.